one hour game. Let's do this. I gotta keep the scope of this game really small, so here's the idea. There are four arrows and one will be selected. When you press the correct arrow key on your keyboard, you will get a point. Do this as many times in 10 seconds to get the highest score. Do you understand it? No, me neither. Okay, let's do this. So I made these arrows and put them in unity. No, no. No. Now we're gonna make it look a bit better by adding some graphic effects. Wow. 55 minutes left. Then I wrote up a small script to control which arrows get activated. The one that is white is the one that you have to press, and when you press it, it chooses another arrow. Now, you know that my brain is the size of a very, very small corn kernel. Writing this very simple code took me another 25 minutes, so I was already halfway through the challenge. I was feeling pretty stressed, and my sister was playing Minecraft in the background. The calming music did not match my tone. Next, I put together a score counter, and I could get all the way up to the funny number. I am just the funniest YouTuber ever, <laughs> 24 minutes left. But like I said, each one of the game was supposed to only last 10 seconds, and so I added this rectangle at the bottom of the screen that indicated the time you had left. To do this, I simply took a square, stretched it out, and then slowly stretched it back in over 10 seconds of gameplay. I made an extra function that when you click the spacebar, it resets the score and the timer and you can play the game again. If you press the wrong button or run out of time, the score will pause and you can restart whenever you want. 9 minutes left. This was all working great, but as the developer I knew how to play everything. Someone who had just came along would have no idea what they're doing, just like me when I play sport. So I spent a few minutes writing out some instructions on the side of the screen and also made a spot to show the high score so you can beat up your friends who get a higher score than you. 4 minutes left. I hopped into BFX Heart and made a couple of sound effects, quickly slapped them together with my code and the one hour game challenge was done. This was a super fun project and I'd highly recommend doing this for a bit of fun. If you want to play it for yourself, you can go over onto itch.io, link in the description and play it for free. Thank you all for watching the video and a very special thank you to my supporters over on Patreon, especially DerpyDino35, DiamondDev and Gunst. Thanks everyone and I'll see you in the next video.